Right, I've got my valve guides made up there with the uh, annular groove and the drilling through them for the oil to uh, get fed to the valves and the guides of course. So they both uh, both got that and uh, as far as I can tell they're at the same size as the guides that came out. So um, I've got the cylinder head warming in this oven behind me here and that's about ready to come out. So I'm going to see if I can do this, um, demonstrate, I'll hopefully fit these valve guides successfully would be nice. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this block of wood here to stand the cylinder head on. And uh, basically, I've got these uh, copper washers here I'm going to put over the uh, shoulder of the valve guide and then use this socket extension. I've got a 13 millimeter socket there. And uh, my old mate, Thor, and uh, basically hope to drive them in. I'm also going to put uh, smear some oil on these. Some people say you shouldn't oil them, but uh, in recent times I've been oiling them and uh, it's only helped to get them in. It doesn't seem to have sort of uh, wanted any that I fitted in recent times to work loose and come out or anything. So uh, they're oiled, ready to go in. Now I'm going to try and get the cylinder head out the uh, oven without burning my hands. I've got a couple of uh, rags here. Let's see how this goes. Pump that on there. It's very hot. I'm going to leave the oven on just in case I get one in and then have to sort of stick the head back in the oven. Although it's a big lump of cast iron, I would think that uh, it should stay warm enough for long enough. So let's try this one in here, shall we? Let me hammer at the ready. Notice the noise, the sound. Of the tapping got harder there as the guide landed fully home. Now then, I want to do the same again with the other one. <laughs> Where have I put that? Ah, here it is. Right. And it doesn't matter. I didn't have to worry about lining the hole up actually because I've got the annular groove, of course. But uh, here we go. Let's try this one. And that's that one down. And now all I need to do is get a screwdriver because the uh, it's a couple of washers burned a little bit. But that's taken the brunt of the shocks rather than a direct hit with a steel socket on the guide. That will sort of absorb the shocks and hopefully help not to have distorted the thing in any way. There we are, that's off. So, we've got two replacement valve guides in that cylinder head now. And um, probably around here somewhere, not too far away. Oh, here we are. Got the valve there. It's a nice fit in that one. It's a nice fit in that one. Now, what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to let the cylinder head cool down a little bit so I can handle it without scorching my hands. Turn it over on its back and try the valves um, in the guides the proper way round and see how close to the seats they are. I'll, I know that I'm going to have to do some lapping in to some degree. They're not going to land perfectly um, concentric. They rarely if ever do and hopefully they won't be too far out. Uh, I may have to bring the valve seat cutters into play but uh, hopefully, I think I've got these uh, valve guides done pretty true and pretty concentric. I'm hoping anyway, because um, here's a reject here. This was the first one I did. And this one certainly would have thrown the valve at a bad angle compared to the seat. So uh, just count that as a practice run. 
and the two in there are good to go.